Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. If you have a birthday today or had one yesterday, happy birthday to you. And I do want to take a minute to really thank you genuinely for taking the time to watch this video. And for those of you who've liked, subscribed, or shared the videos, I really appreciate it. And you know, for those of you who are dedicated watchers of the channel, thank you so much. It really matters a lot to me and you know, your support is very appreciated. So today's reading is going to be a weekly energy check-in to look at the current situation, the current feelings, what is hidden, a message of love and emotions, a message of career and finances, look at a general message, then look at the overall possibility or outcome based on the current energy, and then we'll pull a card of guidance and advice. So let's go in, dive in. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near Please connect to the Pisces Collective and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view their video, this video. We'll get a couple more shuffles in here. I hope you guys have a fantastic week this week. All right, let's see what's going on. So in the current situation, Pisces, we are seeing the tower. Well, this is a shocker. This is, you know, really some abrupt change, an aha moment, something very disruptive. A change is imminent. Change is unavoidable. We'll see what's going on with that in a moment. In the current feelings, we do have the five of wands. I don't know if you had seen one card had flipped out during the shuffle, and it was, in fact, the five of wands. So the Five of Wands is about change. It's about chaos, disruption, arguments, strife, bickering. It's it's kind of a, um, a stirring of the nest type energy in your feelings. What is currently hidden? We have the Nine of Cups, what you truly desire, your wish fulfillment. What is it you're wanting? What is it you're seeking? What would make you tru truly feel fulfilled? This is also you going in the directions of your desires. Um, so that's what is hidden in love and emotions. We have the Ace of Cups. Now this is promising. This is a new emotional beginning, a new relationship, a cleansing out, answered prayer. So this is very promising for love and emotions. In career and finances, we are getting the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords does indicate separation. It also represents a time of peace, a time of meditation also a time of healing. The four of swords, fours are foundation, but swords are mental energy. So really having grounded thinking, I'm hearing as well, even though this is not a pentacle, which would speak to the grounded energy, but this is about really having peace with where you are at in career and finances. For the general message, we are getting the Knight of Cups. This is a romantic gesture or proposal or an emotional change, taking emotional action, going towards something new that's going to be more fulfilling for you. Knights are about taking action. Cups are emotions. So this is indicating for your general message, there's a some type of action being taken that will in some way have an emotional content to it. For the overall possibility or outcome, we are getting the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about past memories, memories from the past, memories from childhood. It's also, it can be soulmate energy, but the Sixes are harmony, are harmonious energy and Cups are emotions. So this is in the overall possibility. You could be also coming to peace with an aspect of your past. And in the overall advice and guidance, we are having the nine of pentacles, focusing on your security, your stability, staying, you know, this is about you focusing on you, staying in your own lane, making sure your own lane is good. The nine of pentacles is also about confidence, having confidence, um, being reassured, standing on your own two feet, having that independence, that security and stability. So let's go ahead and dive into this message a little further and see what else we can get for you. You know, let's start with this tower since, you know, we have this tower here for the current situation. It does seem as though there's something alarming or something very prominent that's going to be shifting or changing. So Spirit, what is this tower 
for Pisces current situation, please? What is this tower for Pisces current situation? And we have the high priest. So this is saying you may have seen it coming. This can also be sudden, unexpected clarity, spiritual messages, download, insight. So we are seeing, you know, sudden information of some sort coming towards you. Let's see what this high priestess is. The high priestess is also Pisces energy. Let's see what this high priestess is. Spirit, what is this high priestess for Pisces, please? What is this high priestess for Pisces? For the high priestess, we are getting the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So as we stated before, the Knights are about taking action. The Knight of Wands is a very determined, fiery energy. It speaks about shifts, travel, movement, relocation. It can even indicate changing addresses. The Knight of Pentacles is also taking action, but it's a, the slowest moving knight. And we see being Pentacles, it's around materiality, your physical 3D world. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm seeing here is there is a need to take action regarding, for some of you, your housing situation, your determination, maybe your career and finances. We'll dive into career and finances more in a minute, but we see, you know, intuitively you've been being guided towards or are being guided towards making some changes in a couple areas of your life. One may be environmental, one may be career and finances, um, but overall we're seeing a shift and with the tower here um, and the high priestess, it's you're intuitively being led to making these changes and taking action in these particular areas. But if you don't um, take this action, we do see a tower coming in. What is this five of wands for Pisces current feelings, please? What is this five of wands for Pisces current feelings? And we have the four of pentacles. So there is some chaos, some uncertainty or drama around your finances or your security, your stability. The Four of Pentacles is also about not moving, not budging. It's being firmly planted. So you may need to be making some changes, but you, you may feel as though you want to stay in the position you're currently in. But the current, the position you're currently in is giving you some type of discord some type of unsettling feeling or emotions. It could be the people around you, the energy around you, or the situation. What is this four of pentacles, please? What I'm seeing you're really feeling as though you want security, you're wanting stability, you're wanting something that you can count on, that you can rely upon. What is this four of pentacles, please? For the four of pentacles, we're getting the six of swords. It, but, you know, I feel here, especially with the overall current situation, intuitively, you may be knowing that it's time to move on towards something better. And the fact that you're having some type of um, discord, some type of disharmony, disharmony within is an indicator that it's time for you to go towards something else. And this is in your feelings, even though you want that security and stability within the chaos or disruption of the current situation, the reality is that moving forward would give you something more in alignment, more happy, more favorable than where you currently are. What is this nine of cups for what is currently hidden? What is this nine of cups for what is currently hidden? Please, thank you. And we have the knight of swords. So the knight, you know, we have every single knight, the wands, pentacles, cups, and swords. So this is really speaking to, you know, taking action across the different areas of your life. This is going in the direction very rapidly of your wish fulfillment. So this is what is hidden. Let's see what this Knight of Swords is. Spirit, what is this Knight of Swords for Pisces? What is this Knight of Swords? And we are getting the Empress. Yeah, so what I was hearing is, um, before this card came out, is there's a reason that God divined the universe, why you have something on your heart. There's a reason why you desire it. It's either desired or wished for 
for your growth and expansion or because it's the next phase, the next step on your journey. And we see with the Knight of Swords going towards making that change, rapid change towards your abundance, towards being in the flow of energy. The Empress does not chase. The Empress allows things to come towards her. So we're seeing really taking action in the direction of your wish fulfillment is, you know, we see the Empress here is wanting to take action in the direction of your wish fulfillment. What is your wish fulfillment? Is to be in a much more flow state, a much more relaxed state, and a state of abundance, which makes sense with the how are you feeling, you know, wanting to have that security, wanting to have that stability. You know, and here what is hidden is, you know, your true desires is, are to be more secure, more stable, um, giving birth to new things, new ideas, new concepts, and really having an abundant life. What is this Ace of Cups for love and emotions for Pisces? What is this Ace of Cups for love and emotions for Pisces? Please do. Okay. So we're getting the Ace of Cups and we are getting the Ten of Swords. So we're getting, you know, some type of contrary information. As soon as I heard the words contrary information, I, I also heard, no, this is not contrary information. This is healing energy. So we're seeing the Ace of Cups coming in twice. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords is clarifying the Ace of Cups. So we're seeing the Ten of Swords with the sun behind it. So this is about a silver lining, about even though a situation is dead and over, not redeemable, not salvageable, there's trauma, there's hurt, there's betrayal there. However, that resonates for you. We see a cleansing, a new opportunity coming in to wash that away and to, I'm hearing, restore. So even though the Ten of Swords is, there's no redemption in the Ten of Swords, we do see a blessing coming in that's going to help you move on um, from this. It's I'm hearing this is going to, even though you can't get back up from the Ten of Swords because it's a completion of that energy, um, we do see something coming in to help you move on from it. What is this Ace of Cups, please? What is this Ace of Cups right here for Pisces? What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? For the Ace of Cups, we are getting the Temperance and the Two of Wands. So this is about you really, I'm hearing coming to terms with the situation, allowing the process to unfold and take place, and making a decision on where you want to go, where you're headed from this point in time. The Temperance is Sagittarius energy, but it's about patience, it's about things coming together. We see one foot in the water, one foot out of the water, and we see a path headed towards the sun. So we're seeing making a decision to not stay in a broken energy, but to really allow your circumstances to unfold and lead you forward towards something else, away from the pain, the trauma, whatever has not worked out previously. What is this 10 of swords for Pisces? What is this 10 of swords for Pisces, please? And we have the Four of Swords coming out for the second time. So this Four of Swords is in career and finances. And this Four of Swords is in love and emotions. And we're seeing this Four of Swords is clarifying the Ten of Swords. So we're seeing taking time to heal, to rest, to recuperate. And we see the Ace of Cups coming in as a restoration. So in love and emotions, we are seeing in the face of a situation where there was not restoration resurrection redemption it was over and there is a painful finality to it something new is coming in the ace of cups is coming in a blessing a forgiveness a new emotional beginning to help you heal and to move on what is this four of swords for pisces in career and finances for your career and finances pisces we are getting the ten of wands so this is really taking some time to get perspective, taking some time to look at what's going on in your career and finances. You're alone carrying some type of burden here. I'm hearing you're getting quite sick of carrying the burden. Here we have justice making some type of fair balance decision along with the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups twice here in your general message and here in your career and finances. So we're seeing taking action to have an emotional shift 
in your career and finances, really weighing out the pros and cons of where you currently are, what's currently going on in your career and finances, and you know, taking some time to figure out what direction you want to go in. What is this 10 of wands for Pisces? What is this 10 of wands for Pisces, please? For the Ten of Wands, we have the Strength. So the Ten of Wands with the Strength is even though you can or could continue to carry this burden, the perspective, Four of Swords, getting that perspective um, is really bringing you to the justice energy about what is the right thing for you to do? Is the right thing for you to do is having the patience, having the courage, having the strength to continue carrying the burden or is the right thing for you to do is have the courage, strength, and um, ability to move on from the burden. Let's see what this justice is. What is this justice for Pisces in career and finances, please? What is this justice? Thank you. For the justice, we are getting the Eight of Swords and the King of Wands. So it seems as though there's something holding you back mentally, some something in your thought processes that is holding you back from making a decision to move forward. I hope that makes sense. Um, King of Wands is about taking power, authority, leadership, going after what you want um, very passionately. But we see the Eight of Swords here clarifying the justice. So it's like something, even though you may be aware of the fact that you need to move forward in whatever direction is best for you, there's something inhibiting your progress, something inhibiting you from making the moves that you almost recognize you need to make. What is this Knight of Cups for Pisces in career and finances? And here we are getting the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is putting yourself out there, interviewing, auditioning, you know, going for something new. It's the early stages of an emotional beginning. Here with the Knight of Cups, we're seeing taking action. So in your career and finances, we see there's an, there, I'm feeling there's a level of dissatisfaction in your career and finances. And you're in some ways longing for a shift. You could be content to stay where you're at, but at the same time, while you could endure staying where you are it's not truly emotionally fulfilling for you so we're seeing putting yourself out there and going in the direction of a new beginning for yourself and career and finances now this could mean going towards something you feel more passionately about something that would you know feed your soul feed your spirit that would excite you again what is this knight of cups for pisces general message what is this Knight of Cups for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the lovers coming out. So we see the lovers as a union, a choice, decision, the Knight of Cups going forward towards the lovers. So we're seeing taking emotional action and going forward. Now this could be going forward towards a union or a decision. Let's see what this lovers is. What is this lovers for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this lovers? What is this love? Oops, oops. And we have the eight of wands coming out. So we're seeing an energetic shift. I'm moving forward. The eight of wands is also Cupid's love arrows. So we do have an aspect of, in the general message, we have an aspect of energetic shift of your emotions. The eight of wands is also change moving you forward. Let's get one more card for this lovers. One more card for this lovers, please. Thank you. And here we are getting... Okay, the lover. So this is definitely, you know, moving forward. This could be moving forward towards a relationship, a renewal of a relationship, or moving forward with a choice. Um, as you saw, when I clarify the lovers, I get the lovers again, or we're getting the lovers again. So we see overall in the general message, there is a need for you to have some type of energy or emotional shift. The Knight of Cups can also represent, as we mentioned, a remote romantic gesture or proposal. So for some of you, this could indicate there is an opportunity for love, an opportunity for an emotional shift and making the decision to move forward 
energetically, emotionally is really what the general message is here is I'm, I'm hearing it's time and not only is it time to move forward emotionally, it's for some of you, it's overdue. The time is overdue. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces overall possibility and outcome? What is the Six of Cups for Pisces overall possibility and outcome, please? What is the Six of Cups for Pisces, please? Yeah, I just heard movement and relocation. So however that um, resonates for you guys, um, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles is um, the guidance of taking some type of action, having some type of physical shift. Um, what is this? <clears throat> Excuse me, Six of Cups, please. For the Six of Cups, we are getting the Tower. So we're getting the Tower twice. And it's interesting that as I was trying to clarify the Six of Cups, I was drawn to the fact of the, the needing to take action with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, and that is helping to clarify the tower. Here we get another tower. So there is something that is going to be abruptly changing or reconstructed. Let's see what this tower is. Spirit, what is this tower? What is this tower, please? I'm hearing for some of you, if you don't move away from the past, you will get a tower that enables you to move forward. We have the Page of Wands. Let's get one more card for this tower. What is this tower for Pisces, please? What is this tower for Pisces? Please show us clearly. And here we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the Page of Wands is a message, usually a message of good good news, excite, exciting news. It's also about moving forward on a journey. The Eight of Pentacles is focused, it's work, it's projects, it's it's looking at what you want to accomplish. Here we have the Tower, which with the Tower and the Page of Wands, this could be I'm, I'm hearing that this could be a sudden unexpected message that frees you from some aspect of your past and enables you to move forward, focusing on something new. You may have had your focus tied or chained or bound or um, focused on something that had happened in the past. But here, this is encouragement. Even though we have the tower here, I'm seeing it as encouragement to move forward and focus on something new. The next card we have here is advice and guidance. Spirit, what is this nine of pentacles for Pisces overall guidance and advice? What is this nine of pentacles for Pisces overall guidance and advice, please? What is this nine of pentacles? Thank you. For the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords. Let's get one more card for this Nine of Pentacles, please. So what I'm seeing right now is this is really about focusing on you, putting your energy into you, getting away from situations that are no longer in alignment for you, having an exit strategy out of that, having a strategic plan to move forward, securing your abundance, your stability. And then we have the King of Pentacles, which reiterates the energy of security, stability, financial success. This could be moving into a job or position that is more abundant for you. Hold on, let me try to move this down a little bit. Maybe, well, I'll try that later. Anyway, let's see what the Seven of Swords is. What is the Seven of Swords? Thank you. And the Sun. So the Seven of Swords can be deception um, energy, but here it's positively aspected. So what we're seeing is really making a decision to move in the direction of your happiness. What is this King of Pentacles? What is this King of Pentacles, please? Okay, and the King of Pentacles is being clarified by the King of Pentacles. So we're seeing moving forward in the direction of your success, in the direction of your security, your stability, focusing on you, staying in your lane, getting your ducks in order, getting your finances, your career in order, getting your, your um, foundation in order. This is about you focusing on you 
in your abundance, your security, your stability. I'm also hearing there, for some of you, not all of you, there may be a situation that you have been trying to prepare yourself for, or there may be a situation that you need to prepare yourself for. Let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading. And the situation, um, just to give more um, context, the situation you would be preparing yourself for would require you to be more financially sound, more financially secure and stable. Um, spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. And here we are getting the base chakra. So we have spoken quite a bit about your foundation, your base, you know, making sure you're grounded, making sure your foundation is secure and, and sound. And then we have third eye chakra. We've also seen the tower and the high priestess here indicating, you know, a need to listen to your intuition to that you're going to have information coming to you um, through spiritual means as well. Let's get one oracle for you. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. One oracle for this reading for Pisces. Okay, um, I'm going to take this bottom one and this top one. This bottom one first. We have Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. And then we have priestess. How are you being, being called to step up and lead? And let's get an angel answers. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. Improving health. So we do see a situation that overall is going to be improving. We're seeing the fact that there may be some changes, some chaos, some you know pain that you're moving away from while you could continue carrying a burden in your career and finances it does seem as though there's a need for you to step back for you to have a new perspective well you know to heal um and make a decision to go towards emotional change maybe even putting yourself out there to have um, an actual change in your career and finances. We do see the overall guidance and advice is to focus on your security, focus on your stability. With the Seven of Swords here, the Seven of Swords, when it's positively aspected, also is an indicator of um, not letting other people know what you're doing. If you've had some, uh, it's moving in silence. Like if you had some financial blessings, some shifts, some positive things occur, just allow yourself to celebrate within your own spirit rather than communicating out towards other people. We do see in the what is hidden is what you truly desire and making a shift, a directional movement towards increasing stability, security, and a more relaxing, more abundant life. This is the message that I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.